Hey everyone, it's Steve, and in this segment, I'm going to show you about how to get a phone number so you can get inbound calls if you're using the call centric. Now, you may have seen my other videos where I showed you how to set up an extension. You know, you go here to extensions, and then there's a list of, you know, your extensions, and you set those up, and then you can activate a phone or a soft phone. Anyway, look for the link in the description if you if you want to go do that piece first. But get, having an extension just gives the ability to make outbound phone calls. It doesn't give you a way to get inbound phone calls. So that's what this video is about. So what you do is either from the home page, you can do this by clicking on uh, the phone numbers or, or the porting, or you can, if you happen to be the dashboard, you can go down here to where the... Uh, where the uh, the products are and you can click on viewer modify your products it'll show you what you have and then you can click order additional products so there's in my mind a few different types of phone numbers you can get so kind of scroll down here a little bit to where it has receive phone calls so these are the different categories of type of phone numbers you can get you can have residential unlimited you can have paper minute you can have commercial unlimited like right here you know, now obviously commercial stuff is quite a bit more expensive per month, although in the larger scheme of things, it's remarkably cheap compared to some of the uh, established traditional landline carriers. Now, what you can also do is you can port in a phone number. So if you see over here where it's got LNP, uh, what's that number? Something number portability. But anyway, you type in your phone number, you click look up. And if your number is portable, it means that they can move it from whatever carrier you have into the call centric a service. So essentially what you'd be doing is giving up your existing carrier. Like say, for instance, if you had a landline with a phone number on it, if you ported it over to call centric, call centric would then become the carrier for your phone number. All right. I wouldn't do that until you've really established a good level of trust with the service. If you're using it, if you're using call centric, all right, you can get these dirt cheap. That's another one too. You can do, if you're residential, you can get a, a, a phone number, um, with real, real low, uh, basically unlimited, unlimited inbound. All right, what I'm going to do is go here to. Um, uh, I'm just going to do the uh, the paper minute, right? Okay, so click here, get a number, and then you've got like these little filters. And so what you can do is, unfortunately, with call center, you can't search for a phone number specifically. You can search for area code and even exchange, um, but you can't. It, unfortunately, unlike some other characters, it doesn't show you a list of available phone numbers so that you can pick one that you like. Um, and then also, if you think you're going to want to use SMS with that number, you might want to turn on that little thing right there. All right. You don't have to get SMS, but if you think you might want it later, make sure you get one that's capable. And then do lookup. And then it'll show you the, the exchanges, right? Okay. So you pick one that is, you know, close to you or, or you know, whatever you desire. I'm going to go with uh, this Orlando, the St. Cloud 407. I click order now. And again, like I said, it won't, it won't let you pick the individual phone number. It just shows you the town that it will be in and it'll show you the area code. But once you click check out, then... Um, then it'll show you what the phone number is. All right. So what I'm going to pay here is the 241, which is the monthly fee, plus a 395 setup fee. So the 395 is just a one-time thing. All right. So I'm click check out. And then it's probably going to take me over to my PayPal. Let's see. What are we doing? Um, okay. So are you using the service from within the United States? Yes, I am, which means it's going to tack on a 911 service fee. If I say no, which I guess I could, I might be lying, um, then it wouldn't have the 911 fee. And I think the 911 fee is like a dollar a month or something like something like that. And I got to type in uh, my last name. Okay. All right. Type in my last name. Submit. All right. Now I got to put in the address. So let me go do that. And then I'll come back after I'm done with that. All right. So I successfully entered my 911 address. Now I got to do my payment. So I'll click PayPal or, or you can do credit card. So let me take care of that and then I'll be back. All right. So my line has been successfully ordered. It still hasn't told me what the phone number is, but I, I did the ordering, the confirmation, the 911 stuff and the payment. And so now when I go to my call centric, it should show me all right, so see right here, it's got um, your phone number, 407, 407-49, what is it, 407-498-0965. All right, so that's my phone number now. Okay, great. So I got a phone number. I want to start making phone, I want to start receiving phone calls. Well, the simplest way you could do is just simply set up forwarding. You could just simply go here to forwarding and you could say, I want to take that phone number 
edit the forwarding rule and I just want to simply go to this extension, uh, the one that I set up 101. Boom. All right. So that all that's going to do is you call the phone number. It's just going to ring straight to that extension. That's fine. If you want to get a little more fancy, and I'll cover this in a separate video, um, you can go and set up an IVR, you know, which is an auto attendant, and then you can have routing choices off of there. So you could, you know, have a greeting, and then after the greeting, it could, you know, offer, you know, route to an extension or route to something else, forward to a cell phone, whatever. But basically, just to kind of wrap this up, I went in, ordered a phone number, paid for it. After I did that, I went into the forwarding section and I said, forward this phone number to my extension. So now I should be able to get inbound phone calls on that number. All right. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.